Hey everybody, thanks for watching. During our travels in March of 2020, Alex and I had an overnight stop around Kansas City, Missouri area. So looking on the RV Trip Wizard, we found an RV park called Peculiar Park Place, which is located in Peculiar, Missouri. It's approximately 30 minutes or so south of KCMO, and what a wonderful location it was. They happened to have a spot available, which was a pull through convenient for us, just being a uh, stop and go overnight stay. Uh, we booked over the phone and upon arrival, went inside the office and finished up the paperwork. We were assigned spot number 57, which is right behind the office and is one of the pull throughs uh, for the larger rigs. Staying just overnight was an easy setup. Uh, just disconnected the truck, put in the stabilizer, leveled the rig, and Alex was kicking back on the patio next to the picnic table. Uh, our site was gravel for the driveway and actually had a uh, paved uh, concrete pad for the picnic table and laid brick as a walkway towards the uh, truck. It was a pretty nice site. Alex definitely enjoyed it. Uh, walking around he uh, was able to play with his scooter uh, gravel was uh, small enough that he was able to ride around for a little bit while i was setting up and a quick walk around of the rig uh, they did have uh, showers and uh, toilet facilities in the building right you see in the background so i didn't bother connecting the uh, water hose or the sewers again since we were just staying the night so we used the showers and the toilets uh, provided by the campground, we did hook up the 50 amp connection. It had been a few days since we did laundry, so I thought we'd refresh because the next campground we we're staying at uh, was just a uh, short time and did not have laundry facilities. So there was laundry mats uh, that contained two washers and two dryers in the same building as the uh, bathhouse. Our pull through was a large size, approximately 75 feet long so it was long enough to accommodate uh, the truck and the rig uh, disconnected uh, parked uh, nose to tail so it was a great uh, great size and it had plenty of room to turn in and out uh, upon arrival and departure the next morning both the truck and the fifth wheel had been driven through snow sleet and rain so it was fairly dirty along with a lot of bugs so had to had to do a quick wash to it and on the other side of the freeway was a self-service car wash which included a large stall to accommodate a uh, rv so we got that taken care of just prior to uh, parking this stage drive was not too bad as we just came from south sioux city nebraska with a, a short detour in Leavenworth, Kansas to pick up one of my collector's items, the Starbucks mug. Had Kansas City, but didn't have Kansas for some reason, so had to, had to stop there. And the Leavenworth location was located in a large shopping center parking lot, so it was easy to pull the rig and get out of there uh, with ease. So by the time we got fully set up, uh, it was... The sun, the sun was going down, it was about 7 o'clock at night. So our plans to go into downtown Kansas City, Missouri, kind of changed to go to a local place, which was suggested to us by uh, the front desk staff. And it was to Odin's Family Barbecue, just up the freeway. And boy, what a treat it was. As we all know, COVID restrictions vary from state to state. And the majority of the Midwest and Southern states are in the upper phases of uh, reopening. Uh, actually, uh, several of the states were COVID green, requiring uh, no restrictions, no masks, no distancing at all, which was a breath of fresh air. Missouri has been in the uh, one of the upper phases uh, for quite a few months now, and they allowed in-person dining. So Alex and I enjoyed our delicious dinner at the Odin's Family Barbecue sitting in the restaurant. Well, Alex and I didn't waste any time with our order as he had his go-to chicken fingers and he absolutely loved them. They were fresh uh, 
fresh chicken, hand breaded and fried there in the restaurant, which was fantastic. He ate the entire plate along with his crinkle fries. I ordered the full rack of ribs with two sides to dinner salad. So I had the, the beans and they had the br slight chopped brisket right inside the beans. It was uh, absolutely delicious. This uh, plate was triple stacked of ribs and it lasted me two days of meals so I had a, a great meal the, uh, the day after. Upon entry you are greeted by the dessert cooler which had an assortment of desserts so that had already sparked my interest in not finishing intentionally and <laughs> not finishing my entree and taking some out so of all the choices I chose the bread pudding which they uh, warmed up for me and that bowl uh, fed both of us and had some left over so most of us have been to quite a few RV parks and the lighting on quite a few of them actually most of them is definitely minimal the lighting at this RV park was fantastic it had overhead uh, street lights floodlights it also had globe lights located at each spot's entry and exit. So you can see at these pictures, these are taken uh, with my camera phone. And it just shows you how bright the lights were. Uh, but it didn't affect you inside your rig when you're trying to get some sleep. So this was a great, uh, great visibility at night in the RV park. All right, thanks for joining us during our stay at Peculiar Place RV Park and joining us for our delicious meal at Odin's Family Barbecue. If you have not already, please like and subscribe to our channel as we have more videos to post and have quite a few more trips planned in 21, 22, and into 23. Have a great one and thanks for watching.